In the spring of 2003, an MIM-104 Patriot surface-to-air missile tried to shoot down one of the United States Air Force's own F-16 Falcons. The incident is one of the worst cases of American-friendly fire in history, including some of the confirmed cases of shot-down aircraft during the entirety of the Iraq War. Still, the volatile weapon has been in service for 40 years, and the question remains as to how the Pentagon will prepare it for the wars of the future. An Unreliable Patriot The MIM-104 Patriot is a surface-to-air missile used by the U.S. Army and several allied nations, such as the Netherlands, Japan, Germany, and Israel. The missile combines a radar, a control trailer, and quad-peck missile launchers mounted on a heavy truck. The device can shoot down aircraft up to 100 miles away. The Patriot has been in active service since 1981. It is manufactured by defense contractor Raytheon and derives its name from its radar component, known as the phased array tracking radar to intercept on target. This sophisticated ground-based anti-missile system rose to prominence during the Gulf War in 1991. It quickly earned the nickname Scudbuster, as it seemed to obliterate Iraqi long-range ballistic missiles heading for Israel or Saudi Arabia. However, during the early 2000s, several deficiencies surfaced in the Patriot software. Its complex computer uses algorithms to judge a target's speed and altitude, and in the case of an upcoming plane, its radio transponder signal. If the Patriot decides an unidentified aircraft matches the profile of an enemy vehicle or missile, it will display the target as hostile on its screens. Moreover, the Patriot can automatically launch a missile at a radar return if it deems it an enemy. This is precisely what happened in 2003. Deadly Friendly Fire During the spring of 2003, the Patriot system inflicted some of the most damaging friendly fire incidents of the Iraq War. Their complex software quickly proved a menace to the crews stationed in the Middle East. Even the most experienced air crews showed a notable spike in their stress levels whenever they operated within the Patriot radius. The first friendly fire incident happened on March 23rd, when a British Tornado GR-4 bomber was shot down by a Patriot protecting an airfield in northern Kuwait. The attack took the lives of both of its crew members. A day later, on March 24th, a Patriot locked its radar system on a flying US F-16 Falcon and initiated preparations to fire a missile. The aircraft's pilot became confused and mistook the Patriot for an Iraqi surface-to-air missile. He averted tragedy by firing an AGM-88 Harm air-to-surface anti-radiation missile, disabling the Patriot's battery. Fortunately, the Harm missed its target, and there were no casualties. Investigations Immediately after the close call incident, the Pentagon ordered an official investigation. According to Philip Coyle, then Assistant Secretary of Defense and Director of Operational Testing and Evaluation for the Pentagon, quote, the F-16 pilot did the right thing. During the investigation, the Defense Department acknowledged that the Patriots' anti-missile system was involved in three separate cases of friendly fire incidents, including another in which a U.S. Navy McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet was taken down by a Patriot battery in central Iraq. These incidents were also the only confirmed cases of American aircraft being shot down during the entirety of the war. Joseph Sorencion, who directed an assessment of the Patriot after its involvement in the Gulf War, commented on the shameful incident, stating that, quote, the Patriot should have been stood down until they figured out why it was shooting down planes. It's bad enough that it happened once. It's unconscionable that it happened again. One of the potential culprits behind the episodes was defects within the device's identification friend or foe, or IFF, system. The IFF is a transponder installed in every Patriot that will respond with codes to avoid being targeted as an enemy when surveyed by a friendly ground station. If an IFF transponder is broken, inactivated, or failing during a mission, it could lead to a friendly fire episode. However, it was unlikely that the IFF would be responsible for three separate accidents in a span of two weeks. 
In the end, it was concluded that the friendly fire episodes occurred due to the long-range, split-second nature of the 21st century wars. The Patriots' Future Because of the complex nature of the algorithms in the Patriot system, the device is highly vulnerable to mechanical, computer, and human error. Technological advances will translate into future wars that are more stressful than Iraq, and many experts wonder the effect that the already unpredictable Patriot will have on new recruits. If the Patriot batteries cause three friendly fire incidents in Iraq, how will the device fare against a more sophisticated and determined adversary? Thankfully, the Raytheon company has laid out a plan to enhance the Patriot Integrated Air and Missile Defense System with a $235 million modernization task order from the U.S. Army. This new project will keep the Patriot in service until at least 2040, keeping the system the primary of its kind used by the United States Army.